Hi, Hermantas Pedrauskas here, creator of this video series about five forex scams used by providers of expert advisors, indicators, and trading signals. Now, before we go deeper into each and every scam module that I, I want to show you in the next few days, I want to give you five steps that you can use to identify forex scams. So just follow these five steps and you will know whether some product or, or service or, or some software is likely a scam or not. Let's begin. So first step is just to ask yourself, how did you find out about the product? So was it spam email that you received in your inbox, you know, or, or even your spam folder? Or was it a website or a magazine which is reputable you know that you know the website for years only good stuff on that website and you just found an advertisement you know advertisement or, or or some kind of article and so on but if it's spam you know uh, email or you were i don't know downloading mp3 mp3 song files you know on some on some <laughs> um, website with a lot of Cam looking banners, you know, and you just found some Forex product and you just buy it and believe that it will really make you 3000 from $250, like this email right here claims, you know, it would, it would be just insane to believe that thing. So I'm sure that's a no-brainer for a lot of people, but I'm sure that not everyone will um, understand, you know, even if it's just a beginner in, into all this stuff, you know. So just... Just thought it's really important, and that's I think number one thing to know. Uh, the next thing is to ask yourself, basically check, you know, that are there only backtest results that the seller is giving? Because backtest results alone cannot be trusted, and you need to ask for my Facebook verified results. And here's a here's a short example. Basically, we have two pictures, so. The first picture on top um, is basically a back test of one expert advisor and it's done on every take, uh, the most precise back testing method uh, with a 90% accuracy. So it's the best accuracy that regular MetaTrader can get. And a lot of people believe that it's really good indication that this strategy is worth using on real trading account and so on but again i build my testing environment that can achieve 99 percent accuracy during the back test and incorporate a real variable spread that have actually happened in the market and i run the same trading strategy using this testing environment and back test results look totally different we can see that the strategy just goes down all the time and it ends up losing the account so basically the same strategy uh, but different accuracy of a back test and we have total different results so basically total different story so uh, don't rely on the back test alone if you just see the back test know that it's just one piece of the puzzle and you need to to get more additional information. Yes, it's worth to trust the backtest, but you don't trust the backtest alone and the backtest should be really accurate. So you need to see the 99% accuracy backtest of every take and you need to know that this, you know, testing environment was real and it was set up properly and you need to know what history price data they're using and so on. It, you know, all these things matter. So unless you can do the back testing yourself at 99% accuracy, I would say that if you find some back test online, it's not worth using that. I even saw uh, some brokers uploading back tests that are not true. They claim that it's 99%, but when you look at the picture, it says 90%. So it seems that even brokers are lying about that. So it, it's really, really, uh, you know, sad to see such things. And another thing, next to the MyFixBook results, you should always ask if there are robustness tests. And if there are any tests, you should, you should see them. Because here's an example for you. Here's a nice looking equity curve. 
It's just quite good. See, it started at 2003, ended at, at the end of 2015, and it always goes up. You know, yeah, there were some drawdowns, but it's, it's normal with every tragedy. It just looks good, basically. But then I took the same trading strategy. I run a robustness test, which is basically where a thousand simulations of the same trading strategy, but using different strategy parameters for each and every simulation. So there are thousand simulations in the screen, and you can see that each and every one of them ended up uh, making less profit than the original one, this blue one. And there are there were strategies that lost, you know, ended up in in the in loss basically. So the robustness test for this strategy failed, and it means that this strategy is most likely will not work in real trading conditions, and it's worth it, you know, not even worth looking at it. So basically, it's always worth to ask if there are robustness tests, and even if they give you robustness test, you should really know uh, how they how they perform that robustness test because it's also easy to fool people with false robustness test as well. So for that reason, actually, I will always say that it's better to create strategies yourself, you know, like what we what the things that we teach in Auto Trading Academy. And when you create the strategies yourself, uh, which, you know, these days you do not even need a programming to do that. But basically, if you create the strategy yourself, you know how it works, you know that you tested it properly, you know what robustness test you did, you know what work forward analysis you did. Basically, you won't lie to yourself and you, and you will know if it's worth to trust your trading strategy or not. So that's the key, I think. And if you're just trusting trading strategy from someone else, you better know they're doing a, you know, a legit job and they're doing good uh, back tests and good robustness tests and good live trading tests and so on. The third thing is to see are the my Facebook results public or private. Do not trust private results with hidden data. So in this picture we see some trading strategy from some website. I took a screenshot of that, but we can see that it shows astonishingly good results, kind of profit of 1,500 percent and equity 98 percent. So I don't know how. Should these match or not? You know, those really, you know, 100% and 1,500. And everything is private. So I'm not sure how to even trust this. Maybe they have like, I don't know, 100 trades open and you don't even know about that. And they hold it for, for five years already, you know. <laughs> so it, it just really doesn't make sense to trust strategies like that. Maybe it's a martingale and, you know, uh, trading 100 lots and your account would not even be able to do that and so on. Now the uh, thing number four is do you get investor password with IP address? If you do, then don't trust it. Now, I know that these days not a lot of people do this, but I still see some websites giving IP addresses um, and uh, log in to the MetaTrader. Now, if you get IP address from your broker, all is fine there. That's okay. You can trust if your broker is regulated and so on, and you know it's well known and reputable. But if you get IP address, which is right over there, just one example. If you get IP address from the seller, and they tell you just log in into my account and see the trades, God knows to what trading server you are logging in. They can create a trading server and just have false trading results in there. And once you log in to that server with your MetaTrader platform, but their login details, you will get that information from this server, which is not even authorized on MetaQuartz, maybe, you know. But if you enter IP address, you can connect directly to that. And if you get results, uh, you know, you might get fooled that you know you log into a real trading account and you know everything looks nice in there but just don't trust if it's ip address from someone else except from the broker usually brokers give 
uh, server names like that. So these, you can trust these. There's, these are always okay, you know, you just select the broker you, you, server you need to connect to and, and you're just good to go, you know. But if you get IP address, be aware that you can get fooled easily by some fake good trading results. Number five is that you check reviews on forexpsarmy.com. Now, I know it's a no-brainer, you know, but a lot of people still don't do it. They just don't. They know they can get to Forex Peace Armor and find out it's a scam. And for this reason, they think that people will not ever build scammy websites because they can be tested on Forex Peace Army by anyone. <laughs> but still scammers, I you know, they don't care about that. They will build one, two, three, five hundred websites and they will try to sell their scammy products on there. And, you know, every day they have a new website and so on. So, uh, you know, it's a good example, like, these domains, one pipfix.com, two pipfix.com. So it looks like, you know, the guy created one pipfix.com and once he got busted, he created two pipfix.com. And when he got busted again, God knows what other website he created and, and scamming people uh, again, you know. So always be aware that you should always look on forexpsarmy.com because they have a quite a huge database of forex scams. So it's always worth spending a few minutes, you know, even even a few hours researching something before you buy. So here are those five steps for you. Um, so how, how did you find out about the product? Was it spam email or reputable website magazine? Are there only backtest results? Because backtest results alone cannot be trusted. You need to ask for my Facebook verify results and res robustness results if possible. Are my Facebook results public or they are private with hidden data? You should not trust hidden results. Do you get investor password with IP address? If yes, don't trust it. And check reviews on Forex Peace Army. So those five steps will help you identify if some product is a scam or not a scam. So I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.